silent. Mars waited for us. But when we finally came, it was to answer a call. Welcome to the Iktomi. This briefing will give you a basic understanding needed to ensure the safety and success of our mission. To research the anomaly on Mars. Above all else, it is your job to keep the ship and the crew functional and well. We don't know what to expect from Tharsis, so we have to be at our best once we make planetfall. Regular maintenance keeps our ship in good working order. Performing maintenance tasks is done by using a crew member's dice to combat any problems that arise. A crew member's remaining dice are shown here. The Pia Musgrave only has one die. It's unclear if she can fix either event on her own. J Cross will have to move Cross to flight control since that event can cause damage to the Iktomi. Select Cross's portrait, then navigate to flight control and select deploy to move Cross into the module. The Iktomi's hull integrity and impending damage caused by events are visible on your HUD in the upper left. Don't let this run out or we're all dead. In the middle HUD, you'll notice how much work has to be done to repair an event. Work is done by placing dice into the repair slot. Roll the dice now, then select and place them in the repair slot to fix the problem. Good. Now select Finish Deployment to end J Cross's turn. Since Musgrave is low on dice, let's use the life support module to get her some more. Select Musgrave's portrait, then navigate to life support and select deploy. Each module has an ability that can help the ship or the crew. Using module abilities is handled similarly to fixing problems on the ship. Each module ability requires a die of a specific value be used. Note the iconography to see which dice are valid. Roll now and place a die in the module ability slot to replenish some of Musgrave's dice. Each module will help the crew in a different way. Learn how to use module abilities to increase our mission's chance of success. Now select Finish Deployment to end Mapia Musgrave's turn. Now that everyone has finished with their tasks, the remaining active events will play out. If J Cross hadn't fixed the event in flight control, it would have caused damage to the ship's hull at this time. There are several types of events, including those that cause harm to the crew, reduce the crew's dice, deplete resources, damage the ectomy, or cause module systems to fail. Learning which events to let carry over from turn to turn will greatly increase your likelihood of success. Managing the crew's wellness is one of the most important aspects of the mission. Keep the crew's health up and stress down. 
Low stress will keep our choices during this phase reasonable, while good health will keep our crew alive. If a crew member's stress becomes too high, they may slip into space madness and start making choices that harm themselves, the ship, or the rest of the crew. Decide what you want to do and leave the phase when you're ready. Provisions on the Ectome are rationed for the long journey, so only eat what you need to. Giving food to a crew member will replenish some of their dice. Select some food now, then choose a crew member to give it to, then select finish. When a turn begins, it's best to take in the entirety of the situation before rushing to action. Seeing everything from a bird's eye view will allow you to develop a solid strategy. In this situation, Cross should be able to take care of the system failure in the pantry. But first, let's have Musgrave fix the new event in life support so Cross can pass through to the pantry unscathed. Passing through active events causes the crew to take damage. Since Musgrave is already in life support, and since leaving will cause her to take damage, let's fix this event and make a risk-free path to the pantry for Cross. Deploy Musgrave and fix the event now. We can now fix the system failure in the pantry to get food distribution up and running again. Move cross there now and take care of it. Each crew member also has their own specialty and their abilities can be used to help the crew fulfill the mission. Place qualifying values in the character ability slot to use these abilities. Now select Finish Deployment. We had prepared for any disaster, for every disaster. Not all of them at once. We can't turn back, but how can we go on? Keep an eye on your assists, which block the effects of hazards. Stasis hazards prevent dice with matching values from being re-rolled. Void hazards remove dice from play. Injury hazards cause health damage. Assists automatically replenish at the rate of one assist per round. If you roll a die that you like, but aren't sure where you want to use it, Place it in the dice hold area while you re-roll your other dice.
turning sour, the crews and my own. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. with an experimental disaster screening system that can give us an idea of what events are coming up in the turns ahead. to crew and module abilities, you can always use your dice for research. Utilizing research as part of your core strategy is a powerful tactic, and it's also a great place to stash leftover dice. Placing a die in the research bank adds one point to the research pool. You can then spend those points on research projects to help better our chances of achieving mission success.